Welcome everyone. Uh, we're, welcome to our um, first virtual open house of the week. Um, this is for the Daniels Design Bootcamp. Uh, we hope that after today's session, you'll have a deeper understanding of what the program um, looks like and we answer a lot of the questions that you might have. Before we begin, I'd like to first introduce everyone that's here. So uh, we have Jamie Lipson, who is our curriculum developer, give a wave. Um, we have Aidan Cowling is the coordinator of our public programming and outreach, also give a wave. We have Petros Babasikas, uh, who is our undergraduate program director and oversees our out high school outreach programs. And then we have both of our instructors for the summer. So we have Irina Ruby Applebaum and Fat Lee. So everyone give a wave. Um, before we begin today's event, I'd like to acknowledge the land on which the University of Toronto operates. For thousands of years, it has been the traditional land of the Huron-Wendat, the Seneca, and most recently, the Mississaugas of the Credit River. Today, this meeting place is still the home to many Indigenous people from across Turtle Island, and we are grateful to have the opportunity to work on this land. Daniels honors all Indigenous people, past, present, and future, here and around the world, and we wish to pay our respect to local elders, including those of the land on which you are joining us virtually today. If you have questions during the event, you can use the Q&A function. Instead of the chat, it's located at the bottom of your screen. We will answer the questions from the Q&A at the end of the event. So I would like to now welcome our uh, curriculum developer, Jamie Lipson. Thanks, Nini. Welcome, everyone. So we're very excited about this year's boot camp. Uh, the curriculum this year has been completely revamped to accommodate what will be an online studio environment. As a team, uh, we've really taken the totality of our experience from now almost a year and a half of online instruction, and we're very confident that we can apply these learnings and these insights to, to provide a really exceptional experience for students this summer. So just to give a bit of background about the program, you know, very simply put, Bootcamp is designed to provide a really comprehensive introduction to the discipline of architecture. It's been designed to be particularly well suited for late high school students in grades 11 and 12, as well as undergraduate students at university who have an interest in architecture, and also really anyone who is just really interested in a career in design. So really everyone is welcome, and depending on your interest, you can, you'll get a lot out of the program. Uh, I'd like now to take a moment to introduce your incredible instruction team. Then I'll give a bit more information about our, our course offerings. Full details of everything we're talking about now is, is uh, available on the Daniels website for your reference as well. So our bootcamp uh, instructor is Fat Lee. Fat is, has a master of is a master of architecture candidate at the Daniels School. Based in Toronto, his work explores architectural and urban collectivity in relation to queer placemaking and the Vietnamese diaspora. Fat, you want to just like give, give away a wave and introduce yourself? Hi, yeah, no, it's super uh, nice to be everyone and I'm super excited for this summer. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Thanks for having us. <laughs> so next we have uh, the assistant instructor for the design bootcamp, Irina Ruby Applebaum. She was born in Montevideo, Uruguay, and came to live in Toronto with her family when she was nine years old. She completed her Bachelor of Arts in Architecture in 2017 at the Daniels School, is now currently working on her Master's of Architecture thesis. Irina, want to say hi? Hello. Hi, everyone. Thank you for being here. And I'm also super excited to teach the book boot camp in the summer. So I hope to see you there. Great. Thank you both. So I just want to get back into uh, uh, the course offering and, and tell you a bit more about what we've been working on. So getting back to the program itself, what we really wanted to provide this year was more flexibility for prospective students. And as a result, we've broken up what has historically been a, a, a one module, four week long program into one week courses. Each course will focus on the completion of a design project to be supplemented by a really packed schedule of supplementary programming, including things like lectures by practicing architects and Daniel's faculty, virtual field trips, and hands-on training and learning sessions in a variety of analog and digital design tools. 
So these courses have been designed to be taken independently and can be mixed and matched based on your personal learning objectives and basically scheduling and availability. We would, however, encourage those persons who are interested in developing a portfolio or planning to apply to degree programs in the future to enroll in all four courses, just to ensure that there's enough time for iterative development of their work and just more substantial face time with instructors and, and all the resources that we have available to us at the Daniels School. So broadly speaking, our course selection will give students the opportunity to experience a multitude of different ways of seeing, thinking, and making through the lenses of design. Our courses this year are as follows. So our uh, course one is called Site Mapping, and this will introduce concepts, tools, and techniques related to site analysis and architecture. Students will develop new understandings of their environment and learn to visualize these types of insights through different types of drawing as a way to contextualize future acts of design. Our next course is called Form Finding, and this will really focus on the development of design geometries and emphasize material processes for the generation of architectural form. It's in this course that we'll also introduce and lean heavily on different forms of analog and digital representation and students will be creating repeatable modules that will act as a basis for a new design intervention. Our third course design requirements of architectural and building construction. So students will explore unique program organizations and their spatial relationships and develop a, a more nuanced and deeper understanding of what it means to inhabit space. Uh, we're really going to be focusing on a scale of design that is small enough to be sort of addressed within a week, but um, uh, that will lead to something like highly refined for, for portfolio development. So things like a public pavilion, treehouse, an emergency shelter, a greenhouse are some of the examples of the types of projects that students will be tackling in the design thinking course. And then lastly, we have a course called Expanded Context. And this will really emphasize architecture's role in the city and introduce students to uh, a bunch of contemporary social and political, uh, environmental and ecological issues related to the built environment. Uh, this course will also focus on the creation of a design portfolio and, and give those students uh, who wish to do so the opportunity to really develop a, a refined presentation of their work, which would be suitable for uh, degree applications in the future. So as you can see, we have a really exciting curriculum uh, for you all this year, and it really covers the gamut of, of what is possible in architecture and design, provides quite a substantial introduction to the concepts, tools, techniques, and sort of methodologies that we are interested in here at the school and are also used in the profession at large. So um, in closing, and before we open things up for some questions, uh, registration for the bootcamp is now open on the Daniels website. I believe Nini is gonna put a link in the chat uh, that'll take you to that page if she hasn't already. And there's also contact details on the website as well, uh, if you'd prefer to reach out uh, with questions that way, or if anything does not get addressed um, during this open house. So thanks so much for listening. Uh, we'd welcome any questions about the program and hope to see you all this summer. Thank you. I just wanted to say a couple more things. So there is, we are offering two boot camps this summer. So today is uh, the first session and it's about the D Daniels Design Boot Camp. And we do have a new boot camp that's being offered that is the Architecture and Film Boot Camp. So for that one, it'll be a separate session that's tomorrow at noon. And uh, we'll be meeting with Jay Pooley, who is going to go over that program in detail. So Today's uh, uh, session is about the Daniels Design Bootcamp. So we will open it up to questions if there are any. I see that there is one question. So what materials will be required for the camp? That's a really great question, Jill. Um, over to, um, to you, uh, uh, Jamie, to answer that question. And I should note one thing before. So some of the pictures you're seeing are when we were in, in the building. This summer, we will be solely online. So we are not actually able to meet in the building. 
Um, and so the program will run uh, fully online. And so Jamie, I'll let you answer that question. So the only thing that is really mandatory required for participants in the boot camp is a computer with access to Wi-Fi. So all specific software installation and instructions and these types of licenses will be provided by the school. Uh, we also are going to encourage some physical model making, but these will be, you know, very low cost and uh, readily available to, to, to everyone in the program. So uh, hopefully that answers your question. I mean, I think you were probably curious about technological programs and licenses, but these things are really going to be provided by the school. Um, so really just your computer and uh, an internet connection and you'll be set. Are there any other questions? Um, Arena and Fat, maybe do you wanna just talk a little bit about your backgrounds and like uh, what, what you've studied uh, to get to the point of teaching? Could, could we start with Fat? Uh, yeah, so uh, actually I started uh, at U of T back in my undergrad. So I've gone through pretty much the whole gambit until uh, this is, would be I think my eighth year basically. <laughs> Uh, Daniel's in my following year, which is going to be super, super exciting. Uh, but uh, primarily, I've gone through sort of, uh, yeah, again, through the undergrad program and then coming here now. Uh, I've also been currently, uh, I'm also like a teaching assistant. So I've done really similar programs and I've done summer camps before, which is pretty fun. Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess overall, wait, what was the question again? <laughs> My brain kind of just like, it just kind of left my head a little bit. So I was just like, wait, what? <laughs> oh, I think, sorry. I think you answered it. So it was more around <laughs> of, um, so, so Fad has actually been like, like you said, at our um, programs for a very long time. So he's very familiar with uh, U of T and particularly with the Daniels faculty and has successfully uh, got, gained entry into our undergraduate and our graduate program. So uh, I think he has a lot to share about uh, the experience. And then Arvina, did you want to speak to your kind of background as well? Um, well, just like Fat, I have also done my undergrad and my master's at Daniels. And I'm also in my eighth year doing my thesis with Petros. Um, and I've also been a teaching assistant, um, which is an experience I really enjoyed. Um, so yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So I think, um, I think participants in the program, we've had uh, people do ask me on occasion, if this gains you entry into a program, this is an extracurricular program. It's not part of our academic programs. Uh, it does, however, um, help with uh, students putting together portfolios and their application. We will go through in detail what it means to apply to a program and not just our program, just it, like obviously our program, but how to apply to school, what things they're looking for, how to make your uh, portfolio. Um, it is not a portfolio preparation course. And the reason that we don't do that is that often those types of courses uh, produce the same portfolio. So people come out of the program with pretty much everyone looking the same. And that's not really desired by programs in design. They want to see your unique creative um, activities. And so the, uh, the actual assignments that they do, the projects that uh, are referred to by Jamie are creative projects. And each student will have a very different looking project based on their interests and how they go about doing the work. And so we think that that's a very advantageous in helping students put together their portfolio. It will stand out from others because they will have their own unique look of the uh, actual project. So that's why we've chosen to go that way. Um, and so uh, I think that we have had students that have gone through our boot camp and have applied to school and are now Daniel students. So that's a really great uh, sign. And they do credit um, the experience as ha having been really advantageous for them. So if you're if your participant is interested in potentially going to a design school, it's a really great way to get a sense of what that looks like, how it feels like to be in a studio situation, 
um, how you, uh, you know, what an education looks like, what the career path looks like. And it's, you know, a much uh, safer environment to, to kind of test that out than to actually go right into your undergrad without ever having explored it. So that's really, we're here to allow students to explore the discipline, to get really engrossed in it and like meet with people that are doing, um, you know, teaching it and also are active members of our design community. Um, so we have speakers that are architects and designers and they are generous with their time and really share their experiences, uh, both personally and, and professionally. And I think that adds a really great depth to the program. Petros, did you want, so Petros is our undergraduate program director. So he is actually the one that is, um, you know, helping uh, forge uh, the curriculum for the, the first, you know, the undergraduate students as they come in. And so he's overseeing the curriculum just to ensure that it aligns with what people would expect in our actual programs. So Petros, did you want to say a few words? Sure, absolutely. I think there's a couple of things to say. One is about the uh, actual educational experience. And um, I think that really the ideal way, if you want to go into architecture and be sort of uh, slowly introduced uh, into the environment is to actually take more than a single week's course because the, they are designed to be independent, but they can also build into each other. So by the fourth week, you will actually have a, a body of work um, that will be interconnected and that you'd have had a longer time to uh, revisit. And I think there's a way in which we work in architecture that one has to slowly get used to. And I think this is really what this experience is about. It's often a very intuitive way where when we're designing something, we don't exactly know what the final result is. So we have to step-by-step step explore that and iterate it. And it's a process in which you have to basically look at your design and, and see it through the eyes of others and get feedback on your work in order to take it next steps further. So this, this is really the process that we're getting used to. And this is exactly what the design studio is about. Um, and it's not an evident way of working that I think it, uh, you're gonna get sort of exposed to that through the bootcamp. So that's one aspect of it. Um, the other aspect of it is that we have really, I mean, the Daniels faculty is really an amazing place. and. We have a lot of um, architects and researchers, uh, people who are working on uh, issues of urbanism, uh, responding to the climate crisis, responding to the decline of the commons, <clears throat> people who are very specialized in technology and fabrication. So hopefully we'll get some of those people to come and share their research with you. We have architects. I myself am an architect as well, um, who might uh, show some aspects of their practice. And I think you will also be exposed in that greater context, which is really the context of the one of the top universities in the world and um, a very vibrant and, and youthful faculty uh, that does architecture, takes architecture very seriously. So you'll have that bigger picture by the end of the term, and then you'll also be used to the experience of, of um, studying architecture through really making things and drawing things and being able to translate the things that you see out there, outside your home, in your city, um, in nature, into your drawing board and imagine how you might uh, intervene in them. Um, so those are kind of the bigger axes of, of uh, the design bootcamp. Uh, and there will be a lot of youthful energy this summer to bring into this, into this place. So we're really looking forward to having you all. Thanks, Petros. There is a question from the audience. Uh, Wendy is asking about age. So we look at age as a guideline, right? Um, so for us, it's really just to ensure that there's a, a set maturity level so that uh, participants feel comfortable. So the general age is a 16 to 18 plus. We, will we allow a 15 year old? Absolutely. If they feel that they'll be comfortable working with 18 or 17 or 20, you know, we'll have a variety of ages. So we just want to make sure that the participant feels comfortable. Um, I know that there are very, there are some very mature 15 year old um, participants that are going to be fine. We leave that decision up to the family, you know, so um, you know your children best. And so we would uh, defer to you and we can override the, the registration, but we want to be sure that everyone feels comfortable in the environment. Um, so that's why we set an age parameter. So yes, um, potentially your uh, participant could join. Um, just let us know if you think that your uh, participant would feel comfortable working with an 18 plus year old, and in which case we can make the modification on our registration site. 
Um, the registration is open. And so we would encourage everyone to register um, at their earliest convenience. Um, all of the information is on our website. Again, that's been shared with everyone in the chat. So both the information link as well as the registration link. So if there's no further questions, we'll probably end a little bit early today. Um, again, you have uh, our contact information. You're welcome to contact us anytime. Um, and Aiden, do you wanna say anything before we close? I just wanted to say that this is a super fun program where you know, even though we're all at home online, it can be a very communal, social, fun place for people to be creative and engage together. So we hope to see you this summer. Excellent. So, um, and if, again, if you're interested in another option, we do have the architecture and film bootcamp. So a slightly different way of, of, of approaching the design studio uh, environment. And so you can join us for tomorrow's uh, session at noon to hear more about that, but we hope that you register and we hope to uh, see you this summer. Bye everybody. Thanks for joining us. Thanks everyone. Thank you. Thank Bye. you, goodbye.